see that? Was it a comet or maybe it was a falling star because a lot of you have wished that uh, with dot at Maui and even with Xamarin forms, you could write your UI more like Flutter or maybe Swift UI. And that's exactly what you can do with Comet. So let's check out how to get started with that yourself. Before we dive headfirst into Comet, getting started and how to explore the concept yourself, let's just take a step back and establish what Comet is exactly because maybe you're not familiar or maybe you just need a little bit of a refresher. So Comet is the .NET C Sharp implementation of the MVU framework, basically. It allows you to write cross-platform MVU style applications based on C Sharp and .NET MAUI. So what is MVU exactly? Um, I hear you asking, well, MVU stands for model view update and is basically in line with like MVVM, MVC. It's just another pattern, um, which is more reactive. And um, like, you know, you might know Fabulous from F Sharp, uh, which is kind of similar, but this is based on C Sharp. And um, MVU has a lot of popularity now because of frameworks like Flutter uh, with Dart and Swift UI from iOS. Um, so a lot of people are really excited about using MVU. And um, it also has probably a smaller learning curve for people who are are not familiar yet with XAML and MVVM and that kind of stuff. Um, so it makes it easier to write your applications and be more productive straight away with like MVU applications. So if you want to know more in depth about what MVU is and what it means to you or what it could mean to you, please let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make a little video on that as well where I explore the concept. This video is more about um, exploring how to get started and um, grasping all the concepts yourself. Now, if you do know a little bit about Comet already, then you might know that James Clancy is one of the biggest contributors of this project. Uh, maybe he is the one spearheading this project right now. Uh, but I think it all started with like in Xamarin forms back in the day where we could also um, have all of this support. But you know, the, the way Xamarin forms was architectured wasn't really great for this, I think, um, because you know, Xamarin forms was heavily coupled with like the platform imp implementation of all the stuff. Um, and now with Donet Maui, I think this is really one of the the advantages that we have here is that it's decoupled of the implementation on the platform. So everything is based on interfaces, um, which, you know, some people don't really like. But on the other hand, it does open up the architecture to now make a Comet more pluggable in there and um, leverage still all the power of .NET MAUI, but we lose all the overhead that we had to go through with Xamarin Forms. Now, um, James Clancy, I think he just loved everything that he saw about Swift UI um, and maybe Flutter and Dart about the syntax and the language and how that was built up, basically the MVU implementation. Um, and he thought, I want to have that, but I want to have that in the language and the framework that I love, C Sharp and .NET. So, um, he and I think David Ortnow and maybe some other people started a little hackathon project. Um, and please note at the time of recording this, it's still experimental, but there is something interesting going on here. Before it was on James's personal account and now it has moved to the .NET account, to .NET GitHub account. So it's now on github.com slash .NET slash Comet. So I don't know exactly what that means, but at least it's a little bit more official. But like I said, please still note it's still experimental at this time. Now, at this repository, you can, of course, find all the getting started stuff as well. There is a sample application. There's all the things that you need to contribute to Comet if that's what you want. Um, so please scroll down here, find all the things. Um, here you have the little key concept with like model view update. So model pushes the state to the view. Uh, with this view, you can have the bindings and the commands that will trigger an update with the state changes back to the model. And that goes in a circular fashion. Again, if you want to know more about MVU and how it all works um, in a more detailed level, more in depth, please let me know in the comments. Um, but then David wrote a little blog post the other day with Comet development on Mac OS, which should really get you started. Now, everything I'm going to show you here is on Windows, but um, the exact same thing will work on Mac OS as well, because that is the beauty of all this. It's all cross platform and it all works on these um, different things now as well. So here again, he goes over through all the things. Um, so this is a little bit of Comet code right here. You can specify the state. So basically your model, your binding context in like the MVVM world um, with the this comet write object. Um, so that is what holds your state. That is your model, basically. And then with the body, that is everything that will uh, appear on screen. Um, so that would be the content of your content page in Xamarin.Forms or .NET MAUI. Um, 
you can create this body uh, which a, with has a V stack, so that's a virtual stack, which is a, a little bit of a new concept. You also have the horizontal stack. Um, and here you can specify, hey, I want to have a new label, which is called a text in Comet World uh, with this, this caption right here. It has a frame, so a width of 300. We also have this button with this label on it. And whenever we click it, we do comet.writes, so which just a simple counter application uh, with a frame. So we set a height, a margin, a color. You can set all the properties through this, right? And if you just know C Sharp or you just know any other programming language and you um, come here for the first time creating cross-platform apps, then I think this you know, um, is much more friendly to start with than also having to learn XAML and all the magic string bindings that you have there and um, or let alone the C Sharp syntax that we have now to build the UI, right? So this is much more productive, much more cool, much more modern, clean, all the things. Um, so I think a lot of people will like this. Now, there's a lot of more info here, but let's skip to the important parts of just getting started who reads the manual anyway. Um, so get Comet, it's distributed as a separate NuGet package right now. And um, by installing the Comet templates, we basically have everything we need to get started. So let's copy this little command right here, .net new dash i clancy .multiplatform. You can see Clancy's name is still in here. So um, for moving it to a little bit more official, we probably need to change that at some point. Um, we go into a command line window right here. I think you need administrator rights on it. And I'm just going to paste this command in here. You will see that it takes a little while to install the template. Here we go. Um, you have it, template name, but the important thing is the short name here, which is Comet. So we can just do that. And I'm going to create a new directory on my desktop. So let's do make der Comet demo. Uh, let's go in there with change directory Comet demo. And let's just do .NET new Comet. And that will create all the files that are needed for a new um, Comet project. Now, um, here you can also see in the blog here at the, at the window below this one, um, you can do code dot. If you have the regular v Visual Studio Code installation, that definitely works. I personally have the Visual Studio Code Insiders, which is kind of like the preview version. So I have to do code insiders dot and the dot specifies that I want to open the current folder um, that I'm in and it will open that folder in Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio Code Insider. So you can see here, um, on the left, all the files that are just created. So I have this little subfolder here, comment demo uh, with a main page, uh, the CS proj, all the things. Um, and also you can see the .NET MAUI showing through here with this platforms folder, which has the Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst and Windows in here. So it's just built on top the .NET MAUI principles here. Um, if we go into the main page, you can see that it has all the code that we've just seen. Um, and we can go into this comet write object, which is uh, down here below. Um, and you can see it just has two simple properties with the writes and the comet train. Um, and that holds our state right here. So there's nothing you need to do besides setting this attribute for the state right here. Um, now, I know Clancy still wants to change some things, uh, but he's bound by the rules of C sharp, right? So by the C sharp syntax. Um, and he's talking directly to the team at Microsoft with uh, um, specifying this this C sharp syntax, we can change that, right? We have the power to do that. So he's talking to them how we can make and implement changes to make this even more elegant and even more better. And I think one of the things is to try and lose these attributes right here. But for now, we need those. Now, basically, this is all we need to get started. Uh, the one thing I noticed while running this earlier is that there is a new uh, NuGet package, uh, newer than is specified in the CS proj in the templates right now. So let me go into the CS proj because it actually prevents it from building. Uh, we scroll all the way down and you can see that this is everything that we need right now to do Comet. Uh, we just have clincy.comet, which is the NuGet package name. And the version right now is uh, 430 here at the end. And there's also a thing called Reloadify, but more on that later. So let's just save this, uh, which should um, resolve the right NuGet packages and the versions and we'll um, download that for us. Because it's experimental, the tooling is a bit rough, so you can definitely use VS Code. And I will give you a little hint, there's also a Visual Studio Code extension. I will show a little bit more on that over on the Mac side towards the end of this video. So make sure to keep watching. Um, but right now what I'm going to do is pop open a terminal right here. So I'm going to go to the terminal, new terminal. And what I can then do is here at the bottom say .NET build. 
And then this command is the exact same as you would do in .NET MAUI. So I will have to specify the target, which is run, uh, to make sure that I actually run the application, and minus F for the framework um, to specify the target framework, because this also uses the single project approach of .NET MAUI. Um, so I can run all the targets from this one project, and I have to specify which one I want to run. So let's say net 6.0 dash Android, because I want to run on Android. And if you get confused, and you can see here um, in the target frameworks in your CS proj, all the targets that you can use. Of course, the iOS and the Mac Catalyst will only work on a Mac or if you've connected to a Mac build host. So I'm going to run the Android one right now. Um, but again, because the tooling is a bit rough, it will not pick up on, you can't choose the Android emulator from right here within the UI. So what I did, it will pick up on the running Android simulator. So what I did is go into Visual Studio 2022, um, here go to tools, Android and into the Android device manager. And whenever you do that, you will get this window with all your emulators. Um, and you can just start whatever emulator you want to start here. So I did that, you can see it right here, and it will pick up on that running emulator. So if I go back to this command, and I will start running this one, um, then it will start building the project and it will eventually um, show up here in the emulator that we've got running here. So let's just um, wait a little bit and see for that to come up. So the application has been built. Our application has come up on the emulator right here. You can see the .NET splash screen just as we've seen in .NET MAUI applications as well. And if it comes up, we will see the interface, the wow, what an interface, very minimalistic um, of our main page, right? So we just see that label um, and the button. And if I click that, you can see the counter going up and a number of comments is coming up here as well. So um, let's go over to how cool, I mean, this is all that we need to do to create a comment application and get started with. So now it's up to you to explore all the concepts, but how cool would it be? We have hot reload now, and this is just C-sharp code in .NET MAUI. So uh, we should just be able to change code and it should show up in our UI automatically, right? So let's go over to our main page and maybe I'm really, really excited about Comet. So write the Comet in our button caption here. I'm going to add a couple of exclamation marks here. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back to my emulator and there's nothing. That's disappointing, right? Um, that's where we come back to the reloadify thing because this is still experimental. Um, it's not incorporated in all the tooling yet. Maybe it will, maybe it never will make there. Um, but for right now, we need a little bit of a separate tool to make the connection to hot reload, which is called reloadify. So let's go back to David's blog post and scroll a little bit further. Here we have reloadify. So we can install that as a .NET global tool. So let's just copy this command, go back to our command line window. I'm going to clear the screen and paste that command in here. This will take a couple of seconds and then it will install the reloadify as a .NET global tool. Um, so I can now use that and what I need to do is from the same folder say reloadify uh, my project name CS proj and then also specify the target now David says here Mac catalyst I'm sh kind of sure that you need to do net 6.0 dash Mac catalyst but I'm not entirely sure um, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go back to my VS code and here in this terminal window I need to go into this comma demo subfolder because that's where my CS proj is so let's go into comma demo once more and let's say reload the Fi um, comet demo dot cs proj and then minus t uh, net let me get myself out of the way 6.0 dash android and whenever i do that and start running that it will open up that cs proj it will start running and it will start listening for um, clients so it basically acts as some kind of server i guess i'm not sure how it works under the hood um, but i think it acts as a server and then connects you through to hot reload and hot reloads of the things for you so now it says listening for clients um, I still now need to restart my debugging session. So I'm gonna open up another terminal window here and I'm going to again do .NET build minus T uh, run and then minus F net 6.0. Android. So this will again run my Android uh, app again. Let me just switch back to the reloadify window and my app should come back up uh, pretty soon. And then you will see in the console output here down below that is listening for clients, but now um, it's, it's actually connecting to the client. It will see our app coming up here. And then whenever we start making changes in our main page.cs, we also have the hard reload and we also have these um, new changes coming in. So that will make the experience even better than it already was 
was with Comet. So um, now you can see client connected. So we have our app connected. So maybe I got a little bit carried away with all the exclamation marks right here. So let's go uh, to this caption of this button if VS Code will allow me to, and then remove all the uh, exclamation marks here, Control S, save my file. You can see a new div was successful, hot reloading this main page.cs, sending data to client. And whenever I go here to my emulator, then you can see it has reverted to just one exclamation mark. So that is how you can get started with Comet um, on .NET MAUI and C Sharp and MVU style and all the things. Now, before I let you go, I also promised you to tell a little bit more about the Comet VS Code extension. So you can see it right here. Just go to the extension marketplace, search for Comet, and it will pop up automatically. Um, I already installed it. And what is really cool about this is that you get a couple of tools for free. Um, not in the last place, you will get a little thing down here all the way at the bottom, which says iPhone 13 right now. And whenever I click it, it will start loading the devices and it will get the list of all the simulators that are on my device. And I can just get um, the simulator, you can see it here already running on the right. I can just choose one of these simulators. Um, and um, from there, I can just click play, click the debug button, and it will start my session right away. So that will make your development experience even more easier. Now, there's a little note, I couldn't make it work for the Android emulator. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe there's a little bug, maybe I set something up wrong. Um, because this extension is, of course, also available for Windows, but as long as you can't really select a Android emulator from there, um, the user is not really that great. But yeah, there's also this extension, which makes it possible to do all of this from VS Code. I think I already mentioned it a couple of times. I'm still a old school person, MVVM, uh, the, 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 all my data bindings, XAML. I, well, I'm not going to say I love it. <laughs> I mean, I, I learned to live with it. I learned to work with it. Uh, so that's kind of like the, the, the way I like to fix things. But this looks definitely very promising. And I'm definitely going to look into this more. And a great way to look into this more is by uh, making more videos about it. So if there's anything that you still want to know more about MVU or uh, Comet, please let me know down down in the comments so I will make more videos than that. Um, other, otherwise, please click that like button so it will spread to more people. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and you want to see that uh, comment content coming in on your feed automatically. Press that subscribe button and that will happen. Uh, for the rest, I'll be seeing you for my next video. Keep coding, but also check out this video right here. That is a session by James Clancy uh, where he talks about more MVU and more Comet or check out this playlist right here, which will show you more about .NET MAUI as a whole. See you next time.